Hi everybody, I'm back and I'm going to be doing another quick review for my birthday. Um, my hubby and I were out, oh, what was it? was it yesterday? I didn't have time. We came home, we were so tired, we both just crashed. It's crazy. Went out to the house and they were going to put the flooring in and they had to come out and paint the entire house all over again. So the house was just soaked. I mean, the paint was really wet, so they were getting ready to put the purple flooring in in the kitchen, and he said, we can if we do, because the paint was so wet, they'd obviously been there all night. He said it would, you know, they have to sand first, um, it would turn the wall in the kitchen black. I was like, I don't think that. And then I said, can I see what a piece of the purple looks like? Well, it was maple colored. I ordered gray. I'm going, oh, this is not good. Not good. So, we went and swapped it out, supposedly. Talked to my realtor. Then we went by there today, and it was, had tape over it, and I saw kind of some on the corner, and I was like, yes, they switched it. But the tape, some of the paper over it was torn. You can go to my Instagram and see it. It's um, hashtag all about Lushville, and you can see a, a snapshot of the kitchen. All the cabinets are in, appliances, everything. You can't see the flooring, but it's in maple. It should be gray, so we'll have to get that figured out. Anyway, so I'm going to be doing a frag review. This I got this for my birthday from Anthony, another one. I love this. I haven't had it for years, but it smells fabulous. Fabulous. Hypnotic Poison by Dior. Love it. This will never go out of style. It holds forever. I will pull it out. My mom bought me the first one year, quite a while ago, and I loved it. But every time she came over, she'd use it. Um, so yeah, I never really used a whole lot of it. But this is from Sephora. A lot of their frags come in 1.7 ounce. We usually get the 3 ounce. It looks big. They have a one in a like a clearish bottle called, um, what is the clear bottle called? The, of the poison deer. It's like a translucent. I don't remember. Anyway, this smells fabulous. Love it. Love it. Love it. Let me spray a little on and I can, I'll give you my take on it. It gets five stars. And, oops, there's my hand. It really holds well on me. I would say this is not a summer frag. It's like an oriental. It gets five stars. So there's a, looks almost like an apple. So, yeah, it almost looks like a three ounce, but it's not. Um, so yeah, there's a bottle. One more time. It's by Dior. So let me give you the scent notes on this. Um, this is another birthday present from Anthony. Bless his heart. No, this one was from my mom. The other one was from Anthony. It's because we're buying the house. We just really kind of been trying to buckle down and just get what we need for the house and stuff so and then I have some stuff from Hellsburg Diamonds that every year for my birthday they give me a crazy amount of stuff so yeah I have a couple things from, from there so the notes on the hypnotic poison are a couple different places I looked top notes caraway bitter almond I didn't smell that heart notes are jasmine sam samback and moss two notes Base notes are jarcander, wood, vanilla, and musk. So you can look at a different place and it'll give you different notes. So I went somewhere else and it's in like apricot and and then it says um, let's see, hypnotic poison is one of the best original vanilla. It truly, it's it's truly about what I expect from the, this kind of fragrance is a warm, sweet vanilla scent in a very distinct bottle. Classy, gorgeous, powerful, seductive, feminine, sophisticated, irresistible, hip hypnotic, and beautiful masterpiece. Um, those are just people's reviews. So let me go back and do one of the other. Um, that's It was launched in 1998. Now here's a five star. This one is from Sephora. Um, seventy-seven dollars. It says for one point seven ounce. Um, the notes on this one say it shows a the same. You know, 
The notes on this one say, uh, mysterious and mesmerizing, extravagant and bewitching hypnotic poison is a magic potion from modern times and an audacious and profoundly feminine fragrance and is an unsetting our harmony, a fusion of contrasting olfactory facets. Now the notes. I don't want ratings. I want the notes. Oh, and right below it is Yves Saint YSL Black Opium 115. You may also like that. And then it compares it to the Victor Roloff Flower Balm. $80. I'm supposing that's a one ounce. Anthony smelt the Flower Balm for I don't know, it's not called Flower Bomb for men, and he loved it. So that's on his Christmas list. So I will definitely be getting him there. I don't see the notes, so that's crazy. Um, Shop all the oil. Come on. Give me the notes. Give me the notes. Notes, notes, notes. Um, then they have a one that I've wanted to try. It's um, in the same shape of bottle, but it's. What is it called? It's not hypnotic. It's in like a white opalescent bottle. Um, something poison. But it's not, I don't know. In my younger years in high school, I, I used to wear the poison in the purple. And that was, yeah, very strong oriental. Uh, you could smell it a mile away. But this hypnotic poison... Um, Anthony kept saying in the car, I can smell it on you, it's holding. And I was like, wow, you're kidding me, that is crazy. It's hard to get a lot of breaks to hold on me. So anyway, I don't see a... Okay, um... Here's one. Um, it says, Hypnotic Poison by Christian Dior is an oriental vanilla fragrance for women. Top notes are apricot, plum... Those are totally different than um, one I just read you. Apricot, plum, and coconut. Middle notes are tuberose, jasmine, lily of the valley, rose, Brazilian rosewood, and that's hypnotic poison. I wonder if that this one is hypnotic poison. I'm wondering what. Oh, here it is. This one. I like this one. Um, that comes with all the little, how long it lasts, and, yeah. So, uh, middle notes are tuberose, jasmine, lily of the valley. It has a lot of notes. Uh, rose, Brazilian rose. Come on. Oh, look at my, this phone just died on me. Lily Valley Rose, Brazilian Rosewood. Come on. Come on. I don't want, I don't want this review to take forever, but I would suggest everybody try this. It's an, it's a, and nobody's gonna go, oh my gosh, you're wearing a fragrance that is 17 years old, or whatever. Brazilian Rosewood, Caraway, Base notes are sandalwood, almond, vanilla, and musk. And I definitely smell the vanilla and a little bit of the musk. But it holds fabulous. Um, the bottle. So for a... Um, it gets five stars out of five. And it shows it in different shaped bottles. One with the, the squeezer, Hypnotic Poison by Dior. Thirty nine ninety nine. You got to be kidding me, dear. Not a poison. Sixty three ninety eight. Anyway, so those are the scents. Um, fabulous. I would definitely try it. They have it in with like flower balm, and the the. Here's the other one that is in the clear bottle. I wanted to tell you what that one looked like. What it was called. I always see it. I, I I love the bottle, the color of it. It's in the same shape. Um, I've never picked it up and taken the lid off. Crazy, crazy enough. What's it called? It is called Pure Poison, and it comes in a with a purple cap, and it's like um, 
it's got like a, I don't know if you can see that, it's got like a, yeah, pure poison. Let's see if I can get the notes on that real quick. I don't have that one with me. Uh, Hypnotic Poison by, um, was launched in 1998. That's crazy. So where is the pure poison? It gives ages female 25. This is minus 25 to 25. Um, I don't see the notes. Love it. Um, then there's a blue one. Midnight Poison. That's in a blue, blue bottle. It's beautiful. By Dior. And then they make the Alien. That one is a little, little too strong for me. So I don't want to get on get out of the realm of reviews but there's several poisons um you don't want to go to back to the old 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 poison but this blue one is beautiful midnight poison that must be a new launch i have not seen that one out come on, come on. okay uh view image let's see now we've got pure poison. Their phone is just not. Um, that's Coco Chanel. Come on. That's Coco Chanel. Well, if you guys didn't notice, I changed my nose ring. Just, just, it's a little hoop. I, I don't know. I'm getting used to it. The one that I had in was so tiny you couldn't even see it. So I don't know. I'm getting used to it if I'm going to leave it in or not. Um, you guys will have to let me know what you think about it. I did get one that, it, see, they pierce it up so high that it's hard to get a hoop. I wanted a real dainty, tiny one, and the one that I had in there was so small you couldn't even really see it. So I've always wanted a hoop that went in there um, that wasn't crazy huge. This one is tiny, the gauge on it. Um, so yeah, the pure poison I is the one I want to try next, and the flower bomb, of course. Um, hypnotic. Where is the pure poison? Anyway, so yeah, um, if you go online, you can get the hypnotic poison for sixty three ninety eight, dear. Good night. We have to buy another bottle. Free shipping. Wow. I wonder how many ounces that is for. Anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to warn you. And then it says for 3.4, it's 8235, which is still cheaper than in the store. Um, in the store, I think we paid 77 for just a tiny. 1.7 ounce. But we wanted to make sure that it was going to hold on me. I've had this before. I think I've reviewed it. Um, it's been quite a while, but it's good to change up your fragrances and go with new launches and things that you you know that are going to hold on you. And since it's going into fall, you want to get stronger, more. You know, you want to go to the lighter ones in summer that you really can't smell as strong, and then in the winter, as long as, at least as far as I am, I can, I'm concerned, I like to go with the stronger Oriental, the heavier ones. So, love it, love it, love it. Anthony said I can smell it on you in the car. I was like, really? So anyway, um, yeah, get it online. Um, I wanted to read you the notes to the. I want to try the Tom Ford. Um, ten said yes. Denson says no. Where is the two hundred and sixty-two said yes. Now, how we ended up on Amazon, I don't know. Uh, let's go to Frantag. Frantag. I can't pronounce that. Frant. Frontagia something. I can't ever pronounce that website. Yeah. yeah. This one is the hypnotic poison and the notes are again, like I said, top notes are apricot, plum, coconut, middle notes, two berries, two rose, jasmine, li lily of the valley, rose, Brazilian rosewood, caraway, notes. Base notes are 
from sandalwood, almond, vanilla, and musk. So, yeah. And then um, it has pictures. Uh, almond, vanilla, sweet, powdery, fruity, woodsy. And then it has videos made of horns. The top one's vanilla, almond, sweet, powdery, fruity, and woody. And then it has videos of other reviews. I've never seen those on there. I wanted to review the Pure Poison real quick. Come on, pull up. Pull up for me. That is one that I want next. Now the purple one, that must be the poison that I wore in high school. Now it's making that noise, meaning got to stop. So, if you guys are more interested in the uh, other poison ones, I can go over those. The purple one, when it dings like that, it means get off the computer. Yeah. I think the purple one is one that is just, just way too, too, um, I don't remember the bottle being shaped like an, <clears throat> excuse me, shaped like an apple. The hypnotic the what is it called pure poison I'm not sure I need to find the notes for that it's driving me crazy it's gonna drive me crazy all night so anyway this is the shape it should I will show you one more time love it love it love it once we get moved which will be next week probably this place be prepared the beds probably gonna be standing on its side it's not gonna be a beautiful view once we get um in my blogging room, it'll be better, but I've still got to paint, you know. I may just blog out in the living room, I don't know. But anyway, this is what it looks like. It's beautiful. I love the packaging. Get off there. D high disk usage. Come on, that's not true. Anyway, so this is what it looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this re review. Let me know what you think. I never buy 1.7 ounces. It's crazy. Um, they didn't have them. And I didn't know J.C. Penney's had a Sephora in it. It had, it's been there for two and a half years. I was like, you got to be kidding me. Anyway, so I will, let me open this. Yeah, so I will let you go. Um, once I find the notes to the Pure Poison, I will let you know. Um, until then, I will upload it. I will let you know on the Midnight, what's it called, Midnight Poison. And then, real quick, Hellsberg Diamonds, every year on my birthday, they send me a notice. They gave me um, a pearl bracelet that broke the other day. It had an onyx in it, so I need to go get it restrung or buy some of the string I have in my craft kit. Don't really trust that to string pearls on. They gave me this beautiful pearl necklace one year for my birthday, I think the year before last. Um, it's a real pearl. It's like a freshwater pearl, and then it has a little diamond up here. And then this year they gave me this upside down. It's a floating heart. Very nice of them. They didn't have to do that. It's silver. And then I told them I brought brought. I had the matching earrings that went with the necklace, and plus they gave me pink pearls the year before that. And then they're probably not in here. Yeah, they are. Thank goodness. And then I'm going to do a video on the best fall colors of lipsticks for fall. And they are amazing. They're beautiful. One of them is one of the ones I have on, which I have lost the lid for. I am dying. This is, I don't mean to mix this video up. This is from, I keep dropping it and getting lipstick everywhere. This is Urban Decay, and it is called... Is it Anarchy? I can't read it. I'm wearing it right now. It's beautiful. But there it is. I've sharpened it down to a nub. Lost the lid. It's got to be in this room somewhere. Anyway, so I will review the, the best colors to wear for fall. And they are all in that color family, the berry family. Anyway, here is... These are from Hellsberg Diamonds. I'm going to put a link below. <clears throat> if you want to buy these, I think they sell them for $29.99. It's crazy. They are real pearls. The way to tell a pearl is real, if you know this or not, I never did until years ago, is scratch it against your tooth. If it feels gritty, you know it's real. If it doesn't, it's not real. And that's the best way, yeah. If a pearl's real, it will feel gritty. It will feel sandy and, yeah. 
just yucky. So I asked, can I buy one one earring? I said, I love these earrings so much, but I lost one of them. Now they're hooked together. I'm not quite sure why. I guess they don't get lost. So he just gave me these. He said, why don't I just give you a new set? I said, that'd be fabulous. Thank you. I said, I will put your link below on my video. He said, oh, that'd be even better. And then he saw my my wedding ring, my this one. Believe it or not, this one is worth more than this one. Yeah. He's like, do you want to trade up for that $10,000 diamond? I'm like, no. He goes, you know, I said, what would I have to trade up to? He said, 20000 I was like, I don't want a $20,000 diamond on my hand. Anyway, so here is the diamond, or the pearl, and then it has a little tiny diamond below it. It's really pretty. I love it. And then I have a pink pair, just pink pearls. So it's very nice. Every year on my birthday, they send me a card that says, come in and get your birthday gift. And then in my purse, um, I have a ton of gift cards. Pottery Barn, I have a $300 gift card for my birthday. Victoria's Secret, it's crazy. I need to do a what's in my purse. I haven't done one in so long. So let me get this uploaded. Maybe I'll do that next. I know you guys are dying for a what's in my purse, so I'll do that next. So let me get this uploaded. I'll see you guys in a minute. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Sub, sub, sub. Give me a thumbs up, and I will see you all later. I know it seemed like a meager birthday, but I did get a lot of stuff. My mom sent me a card with a check in it. Bless her heart. And, yeah, I've got her birthday's the day before mine. I've got to get hers off. It's crazy. So, yeah. Anyway, the hypnotic poison, I would definitely, definitely, over the two, um, over the one that I reviewed before that, the black opium, this one is by far, oh, my gosh. Of course, it's made by Dior. Now, Dior and YSL are close, I would say, when it comes to brand and the you know who's on top or whatever Dior would probably in my book be you know I have a lot of Dior lipsticks that I've never even used so yeah let me know if you guys want to see my lipstick collection my lip gloss collection let me just show you before I go it's crazy it is insane they're in train cases yeah it's, it's insane so just, I wanted to prepare you. My lipstick fell on the floor again. I'm, in, I'm dying. My Urban Decay, it's called Apocalypse. Is it Apocalypse? Oh, I'll pick it up later. I have a bright pink one. It's, it's Venom, and then I lined my lips with Venom. They didn't have the matching. But here is my, I'll do a What's in My Bag next. This is, I know you guys are dying to see what's in this purse. I love it. I had it clean. I think I need to take this off. It gets caught. This was a silk scarf they mailed me for Christmas in an envelope. Yeah. But I love the bottom. I know you guys have seen this. Anyway, if you guys want a lipstick review, this is one of my train cases I've reviewed from Victoria's, but it's full of lipsticks. Max to the top. A lot of them are new. And then the other one is black. This one's pink. And I can't carry it through the airport because it will not close. That's probably why I got it for ten dollars. Could you see me walking through the airport and having this fly open and have all my lipsticks? Yeah. That would be a disaster. Going to like a modeling shoot or something and carrying this out of there, that'd be a disaster. So yeah, it's gonna have to go on the shelf in my blogging room. And when I pick it up, I have to pick it up like this or have my hand on the bottom. So anyway, if you guys want a uh, lipstick review, I've got some awesome lipsticks. Some of them light up. Yeah, I don't want to get. I don't want to make this too long. But a lot of them are from Mimi. Um, a lot of them, tons of them are from Mac, Dior, Glossy Box. I mean, there's high end. It's crazy. There's um, these are. These last year's Urban Decay, no, these are Benefit. That's right, I got this, the kit from the set from Benefit last year for Christmas. I'm gonna get it this year too. Haven't worn any of them, crazy. 
You guys would love some of the colors in here. They're really awesome. This one lit up, and I didn't know it. The light is dying. Oh, my gosh. It's LED, but it's really cool. It has a mirror on it. It lights up. It's from Mimi Box. I, I didn't know it lit up until I read the directions. But if you don't use it, you should put it in my cosmetic bag. It's one of those liquid lipsticks. It stays on for hours. Anyway, so I better let you go. Thanks for watching. I will get this uploaded. And I will see you in a minute. If I can get this off, stop, stop, stop. Close. Oh boy, my Norton popped up. Oh boy. Okay, so I will see you all later. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up, subs up, sub. And I'll be back in a minute with what's with my bag. And if you want a lipstick review, leave a comment. I have a full black train case full of lip glosses. This one does the same thing. <clears throat> yeah, this one is huge. This is from VS2. And it has the same problem, but this is all lip glosses from the top to the bottom. Brand new. I just, there's too many to use. So, yeah, if you guys, there's Model and Co., there's Mac, yeah. So if you guys want to see these, I can review them. It'll have to be in separate parts. Here's another one that lights up. It's probably almost dead. Hope, girl. Yeah, not much left, but it's pretty bright. Anyway, so I will let you go. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, subs, subs, up, and I will get this uploaded and be back in a minute. Thanks for watching. Bye.